Today we'll learn how to enable Cloudflare with Railgun for your website. So we have a key key article over here that explains about how to enable Cloudflare with your website. We'll log into your client portal so that we have cPanel access. I'll log into my client portal over here. This will give the cPanel access to my website. I also have my domain registered with Webhost UK. Let's click on services. Click on active. Here you get the option to log into your cPanel. If you scroll down, you'll notice there are several tools available over here. You'll find the Cloudflare option available under software. Click on Cloudflare. It will now give you two options. You can either create your free account or you can sign in to your existing account. I already have an account with Cloudflare, so I'll use the second option. So I log into my Cloudflare account. It will give me two options. You, either you can configure Cloudflare using the CNAME setup, or the other option is you can configure Cloudflare using the full zone setup. So the difference between these two is that the CNAME setup, in that case, you will be using Webhost UK name servers, whereas if you go for full zone setup, then you will be using the Cloudflare name servers. So let's go with the second option for now. The most convenient one is the CNAME setup because it's just one click uh, process and your DNS will be hosted on Webhost UK name server so you just don't need to do anything and you can find the difference between these two the CNAME setup and the full zone setup in our KB article over here we have explained the difference over here you can find the pros and cons of both the uh, setups that are available from Cloudflare it will take some a couple of minutes for this domain setup to be done at Cloudflare end. As you see, it's now asking us to change the name servers for your domain to Cloudflare one and quickly go ahead and change this name servers. I can do it from my client portal domains. to manage name servers I use the first one it's a uh, I had to copy it properly so that it's it does not give me any error and the second one Rex so I click on change name servers now I am using Cloudflare name servers for my domain. So any host record such as MX, SPA, TKIM or any other A record for subdomain related to my domain name, it will be hosted on Cloudflare name server. Alright, I am done with configuring the name servers. Below you will find the options to how to configure the, uh, the proxies. Version an option from Cloudflare either you have to use a DNS only or use a proxy if you use proxy then your a record will be routed to Cloudflare name servers and it will be a proxy kind of thing so I'll use use Cloudflare on for my main website and for my www website That's it. I'm done now. I can now just log into cloudflare.com. Cloudflare.com. And just to quickly take a look at, at my account. So, as you can see, I have my website listed over here. It shows me Cloudflare is now protecting your account. These are the different options for your website.
Now how to enable Railgun for your website. So the Railgun option is available under speed. And if you see in under optimization, you'll see that the Railgun option is disabled for now. To enable Railgun option, you'll need to submit a request to our help desk. It's a form that we have. How to submit a request? It asks you to look for your registered email address with us and the name of your domain name. So my registered email address is this one, and my website name is. Repose-yuki.net and click on the capture to ask me to complete the capture verification. Click on submit. Okay, so see, thank you for submitting your real gun request form. You will now receive a ticket ID and once Railgun setup is complete, you will be informed in your ticket by email. That's all need to be done. Once your Railgun is enabled from our support end, you can verify it by logging to your Chrome browser and you just have to install an extension for Cloudflare. Uh, it's available uh, on our knowledge base. You, you can see when you'll see uh, a red dot which shows as Railgun enabled. That's all for now. And we'll soon meet in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.